The greenest building is the one that already exists. In the restoration, we extend the service life of the building, renovating it, and it is the most environmentally friendly thing that we could do in construction. At the same time, we could attain the cultural and historical value by doing that. Hi, hello Jordan. How are you in Myanmar right now? Hi Gladys, I'm very good and thank you for having me here. Speaking of Myanmar, I heard actually a lot about the things yeah, that you do in Myanmar. And do you think you could share to our audience what are these amazing work that you're doing? Sure. Um, I worked for a social enterprise called Doain. Basically, we worked with heritage homeowners in downtown Yangon to restore their properties so that these properties can expand the life of the building and also preserve their heritage. And another aspect that we do here is a place making up in, in urban communities. It is a very people-centered approach to designing and management of the public spaces. We work together with the community and stakeholder to reimagine the space collectively. That is very interesting. And uh, may I know though, what are the most unforgettable projects that we've done so far? Um, it must be my first project that I worked on, which is to re revitalize the alleyway in downtown Yangon. But without the, these alleyways not um, being used, people tend to neglect the space. The behavior of trashing their alleyway had been very deeply rooted for so many years. So you could imagine how terrible the situation was. Uh, it was also a major health concern to community. So to solve that issue, we came up with the idea of turning those alleyways into a beautiful urban garden to use as a community space so that people would feel more reluctant to throw trash in their alleyway because they see people who are actually using the space for, for recreation. So now we have over 20 placemaking projects implemented in similar manner to working together with the community. So how do you think restoration is an important part of living sustainably? If you want to be environmentally cautious and understand the importance of cultural resources, it is important to think for the long term. So you don't always have to replace everything with new things whenever they're not functioning well. If there is a way to fix it, why don't we put effort to fix it? So simply put, let's preserve our past and protect our future. How can Burmese people actually participate in your uh, activities if you have some? The projects that we do is um, very much human center and highly participative. Manpower and community involvement are key features in our project. I would say stay tuned to our Facebook page and website and get updated to our activities for volunteering opportunities and donating to the communities or to our placemaking projects directly. I hope that a lot of Burmese, especially the young people, would be interested in restoration because it is a sustainable living practice that we all want, need to embrace and especially for community building. Right? Thank you for having me here and it's my pleasure to share my knowledge to you guys and to the community. Thank you.